we bring in Nathan Evaldi right now. Nathan, great to see you, man. Congratulations. As a Rangers yeah. fan with on. And <laughs> no, Nate. Thank you, 11, thank you. 11 career postseason appearances coming in, 3-1-4 ERA. How are you able to, once again, be at your best when the games matter the most? I don't know. I mean, I think there's just something about having the the season on the line. Um, I mean, I know that wasn't the case tonight. I mean, Montgomery went out and set the tone for us last night and, uh, you know, had seven outstanding innings. And, you know, again, the bats were – they came alive for us today. And, um, I mean, anytime we can score runs and get them early on the board, it's just going out there and attack, attack, attack. Hey, Nathan, it's Harold here. I'm going to defer my question for a second because Sean Casey, he actually gave Tampa the, the hitting approach today. <laughs> I, I, I want to be able to see what, what Casey's got to say coming out of that Yankee dugout seeing you today. But go ahead. You, I, I will defer to him and then I'll come back. Go ahead. Oh, man, Nathan, okay. Nathan, first off, man, great job today. It's the most pitches you've thrown Thank 98 you. since coming off the IL. What was working for you today, brother? Yeah, I mean, I had really good command of my fastball today. I was able to stick it down and away. And, I mean, I feel like that pitch has been a little tough for me to do lately. And, um, you know, I had a good mix with my curveball. And then I felt like I found my splitter today as well. I had a really good feel for that. And uh, just kind of trying to think, hold on to the ball a little bit longer. And I had the action I needed for it today. Hey, hey Nathan, it's Harold. I'm back. Uh, you know, every time I see you now, I think about that game you pitched in Dodger Stadium in the World Series. And I'm just wondering, was that a career turner for you? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Anytime you get a little bit of experience in there, anytime, um, you know, you get a World Series experience, the postseason and stuff, it, it helps out down the road for sure. And, um, you know, it, it, it comes down to simplifying the game and, you know, trying not to allow any walks, any leadoff hits, control control the little things that you can go out there and control. And I feel like that allows you to have a little bit more, more success out there. And you touched on that word experience. What what does that mean? Like, you come into a game and you're more relaxed, you're familiar with the – with the situation, uh, how you want to attack. How, how did that apply today for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, with that experience against the Rays, um, I feel like they, they they jump on my fastball really well. And when I'm, when I'm able to mix up, uh, you know, mix it up with my curveball, my, my splitter, those pitches helped me out a lot to keep them off balance. And I felt like today they were, I was able to stick the fastball early in the count down and away. And then start mixing it up later, and um, you know sometimes it's it's the opposite. You know you go out there and you're using off speed first, and then I'm sticking the fastball in there late. But you know it was, today it was just trying to take what they were giving me, and um, you know adjust as they adjust. Rangers have now won each of their seven Fantastic. career postseason games at Tropicana Field, and that's why Texas and a big reason why is Nathan Uvalde are moving on to the next round. Nate, congratulations on an awesome season. Great, great job, start man. Today, man. Thanks, guys. Nate. Thanks for having me.